Unit 34, questions uh, 104 and 105. So it's talking about uh, normal bacterial uh, population and digestive system, fly, significant numbers of salmonella. Oh, and um, okay, so that graph, there's two things about that graph. One is that there's an area of the graph that's broken um, in the lower part purposefully. And so that means uh, you have to be careful about the scale. But also that y-axis, like on the x-axis is fine. You've got 5 days, 10 days, 15 days, 20 days. But on the y-axis, the number of bacteria, wow, it's going from uh, 10 to the 5 to 10 to the 6 to 10 to the 7 to the 8. So, so this is really an exponential graph that is not done in the traditional way. Usually an exponential graph like this, you would make it a logarithmic um, uh, graph or curve so it means that you have to be extra careful and and you know uh, questions will will center around this issue okay so of the following question four the greatest de decline in salmonella numbers occurs during and so it has uh, different days and you know y y you could be tempted to come up with answers like fifth day, sixth day, seventh day because of the uh, way the graph is broken and you know, um, but uh, you, you have to be uh, careful about one major point and that it's that exponential part on the left hand side of the curve. It means that some very strange things are going on and uh, to be um, more precise, uh, you can see that um, on on the fourth day, on the fourth day, the numbers uh, you've got numbers that are that are ten to the six, like ten to the five. Ten to the five is is this okay? So that's um, ten to no, that's not ten to the five. Yeah, ten to the power of five. Yes, okay. So ten to the power of five. One, two, three, four, five, and that's that. And then. Then you have right above it, ten to the power of six. That's 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 a million, um, and so, and that's that's around four, four days. And, and and if you go uh, just a little bit um, in ab uh, before that, it's 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 um, ten million. So it's, it's incredible, uh, the, the numbers as they're changing, but obviously the numbers change highest with the slowest number of days. When you're talking about day, in fact, the numbers change more when you're looking at the fourth day than when you take day five, six, seven, eight combined. You can combine all the other days. <laughs> they're not gonna compare to a million. So, um, uh, this is all because of the way the graph is designed. So the greatest decline in salmonella numbers occurs uh, on, on the fourth day because, and the reason why is because that's when it starts at the highest numbers. And we can't be surprised because this is an exponential, um, these are exponential changes that are occurring and dropping. In 105, which one of the following is the best uh, estimate of the reduction in size of the normal bacterial um, population? between drenching and day seven. So drenching, and the normal bacterial population, by the way, is looking at the curve number two, uh, because the other one is the salmonella. So we're, we're looking at curve number two and its change from drenching, which is, uh, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's, uh, that's around 10 to the 8, so that's 1, 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 100 million is where, it's, it's, it's actually, if you look at curve number 2, a drenching, it's actually over 100 million, but we'll say um, from 100 million. And then it goes from that, um, between drenching and day 7. So day 7, it's down around 10 to the 6. Okay, so you can look at day seven for curve number two. You can see it goes down almost to 10 to the six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it went from 100 million down to 1 million. So to see how much that changed, 
you subtract one from another and you get 99 million. <laughs> That's how much it was reduced um, in those days. So you look at the answer choice, which is closest to 99 million, and you see it's 100 million. <laughs> so the, answer answer, the correct answer is D. And A is interesting because A is actually the factor by which it changed. This changed by a factor of 100, but in terms of absolute numbers, it changed by about 100 million.